Well, Tony Benn once said that um, the way that the, the government treats refugees is very instructive because it's the way they would treat the rest of us if they had half the chance. <laughs> I think... <laughs> I think it's a, it seems to me to be a week where, where the debate in this country has been somewhat coarsened in the way that we've seen recently in the, in, in the United States of America. The, um, trying to get rid of John Burko because he spoke out, the Prime Minister accusing Jeremy Corbyn of using alternative facts. And this seems to be part and parcel of this, this harshness. I mean, we have a, a, a duty to take in refugees from around the world. And I think that... <laughs> particularly these young people, because they're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. We lent on the French government to, to clear the Calais jungle. Uh, these people are, are, are stuck there. They've got nowhere to go. They can't go back where they came from. They can't uh, assimilate into France. We've said, our government has said, that we've undertaken, thankfully to the, the Dubs Amendment, and Alf Dubs was himself a child refugee, that we would take them in. And I think it says uh, uh, something about a coarseness of the debate that's going on about the moment in, in our country. Um, you know, we have, we have some real thinking to do in the coming years, not just about Article 50 or, or whether we want to stay in a single market or to join the economic <laughs> area. We have to ask ourselves, what kind of people are we? Are we going to turn away? Okay. Are we going to turn away from our responsibilities to the world or are we going to step up and do what we said we would do and take all 3,000 of these refugee children? All right.